I love that Toni Morrison said that beauty is, you know, it's just it is, and that's something that has, that has been denied. There's a gap in the history of African Americans and a discussion about black beauty. It's rarely discussed historically. And so I thought it was really important for me to create a book and an exhibition that reimagined a history, a history that includes joy and pride, that also has the compliment and the discomfort of, of terror. She feels very much like a pioneer. When she was putting this exhibition together, when she got it out there to start traveling, it was really well before the current movement of the notion of diverse beauty. This exhibition, Posing Beauty in African American Culture, has been traveling ever since it first opened in New York in 2010. It's now at the New Jersey State Museum in Trenton. I'm amazed that this, this show is still traveling. Knowing that the, the request for the show, and, it's, and now at the New Jersey State Museum, is that people are asking um, the community, the curators, the supporters of the museums and the galleries are saying that this is a discussion that we need to have in our own museums. Wendell White's photograph of Tacolia Salters, a woman from West Atco, New Jersey, is part of Posing Beauty. She's smiling into the camera. Her house is decorated with art around her. Her handicraft, I don't know if it was a doily or something on the sofa, but Wendell captured something that we rarely see in older women. There's that sense of joy. To photograph this woman was important for me, and I wanted that photograph in the, in the exhibition. She's looking at age and gender identity and a whole range of different things, and in, including, you know, remarkably beautiful black men and women in the traditional sense, but also in, in a much broader sense. Some of the earliest photographs in the exhibition were commissioned by the great sociologist and civil rights activist W.E.B. Du Bois for the Paris exhibition, A World's Fair, in 1900. Du Bois hired Thomas Askew, a photographer, to photograph people in Atlanta. He photographed students, wives, entertainers, unidentified, most of them, because he wanted to have a counter-narrative to the images of black people as human specimens, as, as on display. He wanted to humanize and create a space for people to imagine black life outside of the tragic stories that were projected in world spheres. Since its arrival on the scene as a book and later exhibition, Posing Beauty has helped shape a new narrative of black beauty. Side by side with publicity images and snapshots are works by artists such as I Looked and Looked But Failed to See What So Terrified You by Carrie Mae Weems. There's also an installation called Posing Beauty by the artist my Hank father, Willis Thomas, but, Deb Willis's uh, son. Get for calling me a like my mother, I've loved photographs since before I can even remember. His piece is made of images from Jet, the news, culture, and entertainment magazine that focused on African Americans for over 50 years. Everyone I knew had Jet magazine. It's, it's really like kind of the, the Twitter of today. You know, political news, fashion, beauty, gossip, and the centerfold of Jet Magazine had Beauty of the Week. And their story, their, you know, maybe 25 to 50 words. This is a model or a, a, someone who wanted to go to medical school or flight school or become a secretary. Yes, the women were objectified in one way, but they also wanted to talk about their own desires to be, become famous or to become writers or to, to be acknowledged. Back when Deb Willis was an art student, she had a hard time learning about black photographers and even finding historic photos of black life. 
Ever since then, she's made it her mission to make sure that doesn't happen to anyone else. It's still joyful, <laughs> you know. There's another generation who's looking at my book that's, that's giving them inspiration to create work about the self and how identity is formed.